and I would go back to, well, why is it called a sandbox? And I, I would use two examples. Uh, the first one is, is very physical. And that is when, when the Wright brothers were trying to figure out how to fly their airplanes back in uh, over 100 years ago, they did it on the beaches of North Carolina. They were in a big sandbox, you know, and you can imagine the reason for that, right? They're, they're coming up and down and crashing. And, and so a, a big beach of sand would be a lot easier to, to crash into, you know, a, a, a big sandbox. Um, it's, it's the reason why a lot of these playgrounds, you know, use sand, you know, if you fell off the jungle gym, you fall into sand, you know, it's a, it's a protective environment. It's, it's almost a play, it's a place where you can test, right? That's what the Wright brothers were doing with their flying machines. They were testing. So that term has carried over into the tech world when, when a coder is, uh, developing a new program, a new software, they often use sandbox environments where they test out their code before they actually release it, you know, to everyone um, and actually publish it and, and it has real world consequences. So sandboxes have historically been used as these testing environments, safe spaces for innovation. So that's why uh, we have these regulatory sandboxes. So the idea is how do we create a legal regulatory space where we can have a protective environment where we can test new products, new services, new business models. And the idea here is that the regulator is the one who has defined and created uh, this sandbox. Um, the idea being that uh, regulators, they, they do have a very kind of strict uh, setting that they operate in. They have statutes, they have regulations. And so the question for them is usually yes or no. Either you fit or you don't. Like there, there's really no in between uh, there. And so the idea behind a, a sandbox is, well, let's introduce maybe. So for a year or two, a company can operate within the sandbox. You know, maybe they have a limit on how many customers they have, or maybe there's a geographic limit on where they're operating. Um, regardless, they work hand in hand with the regulator to temporarily suspend uh, some of these regulations and to study it out, try it out. Let's see what happens here. You know, and, and, and there's transparency. Consumers would understand what they're getting themselves into, what's going on. Um, and after the year or two, the idea is that regulators and, and these committees would go back to the legislative bodies and say, hey, this worked or no, this didn't. Um, you know, we don't really need this regulation or we should tweak it this way or we need less or, you know, what, whatever it might be to give those recommendations so that we could actually have long term change. Uh, the other idea is this is open to everyone. If someone comes in and wants to use the sandbox for a specific idea, then any company could come in and use it for that for that idea. If you know, if, if we're if we're doing something with uh, rental cars and getting rid of some kind of regulation, then every rental car company uh, could participate. It's not, it's, the idea is not to pick winners and losers. It's to challenge innovators to go out and, and give, it a, give it a crack.